morning year three it's thursday the 21st of january and in maths today we're looking at using the grid method for multiplication okay now we've got a problem to start with uh, i've got um three bags three suitcases and each suitcase weighs 35 kilograms quite heavy what calculation can you see there Could we use repeated addition? Yes, we could. Or could we use multiplication? Is it, is it a quicker, more efficient way? Let's see. Well, firstly, we know that with multiplication calculations, we need a number at the beginning, a number there, and a number there. So this box here says how many groups can you see? How many bags can you see? I can see three bags. And what's in each bag? 35. So my calculation will be three times 35. And the product, the answer is, uh, at the moment, I don't know. Okay, so well done for working out the calculation. Right, today I'm going to show you the grid method. Now, you will need to take these numbers and you're going to set them out like this. You see your bigger number here, your two-digit number. I want you to put your two-digit number in, um, I want you to partition it and put it in like a grid. So they're my ones, they're my tens. And I'm going to put the operation there, which is multiplication. And what are we timesing it by? We're timesing it by, um, yeah, by three. OK, so 35 times, sorry, 35 times 3 or 3 times 35, you put your 30 there, you put your five ones there, and then what you're timesing it by goes there. And then you ask yourselves, right, what is 3 times, uh, we'll go for this one first, what's 3 times 5? 3 times 5 is, um, yep, it's 15. And then what is 3 times 30? Well, let's pretend it's just 3. What's 3 times 3? 3 times 3 is 9. Make it 10 times bigger. So 3 times 30 is 90. And then we've got to add them together. What is 90? Add 15. 90 add 15. Oh, we've got that 10, haven't we, again? So let's get the 10. You see the 10 there? It's not really a 1, it's a 10. Let's put that 10 with those 10. So what's 90 add that 10? Well done, it becomes 100. So we've made that one into the 100. But don't forget to add your, your 5. So the answer is, yeah, well done, it's 105. So the answer to that problem and that calculation can be worked out using this method here, which is called the grid method. Okay? I'm going to do one more example. Um, I'm not going to draw the problem this time. I'm just going to give you the calculation. Uh, let's say it was uh, 19 times by 4. Okay, There's my calculation. I take my bigger number, my two-digit number, and I put them here. I partition it. So I'm partitioning it into a, into a 10 and into a 9. I draw my grid, Oop, I need one more down there, and then here, what am I timesing it by? I'm timesing it by 4. Right, ready now. So 4 times 9, or 9 times 4. Well, isn't that near 40? It's not like 10 times 10. Oh, I know, it's 36. And what's 4 times 10? Well, I'll tell you it's 40. Right, I've now got to add them together. What is 40 at 36? I think I could do this sideways. I don't think there is an exchange. So what's 0 ones at 6 ones? Well done, it's 6 ones. And what's 4 tens at 3 tens? Well done, 7 tens. Okay, we'll do one more for luck. Uh, this time I'm going to go for something a bit meatier. 
45 times by 8 equals, or I could do 8 times by 45, doesn't matter. I take my two digit number and I partition it into a 40 and a 5, right? And that becomes my grid. What am I timesing it by? I'm timesing my 45 by 8. I put my times there and my 8 there. And here I go, I'm ready. What is 8 times 5 or 5 times 8? Well done, it's 40. And what is 8 times 40 or 40 times 8? Well, I'm not very good at that, so I'm going to cover up the zero. What's 8 times 4? 8 times 4. How do we remember 8 times 4? Isn't it the boing boing one? Well done, it's 32, so make it 10 times bigger. 32 becomes 320. What's 320 now? Add 40. Well, no ones add no ones is no ones. Two tens add four tens is six tens. And then, oh, what have we got left? Oh, 300. 300 add... Oh, no hundred, so it's just 300. Okay, and that's the method there. Right, this is called the grid method. Okay, and uh, it's the middle step to doing the, the, uh, the next grid method, which is slightly more complicated. I'd like you to do all the questions on the sheet. Even if you can do them in your head, I want to see them set out like this. I want to see that you can use the grid method, please.